Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Spillai, and welcome to this Let's Play of Queen's Wish 2, The Tormenta! Last episode we spoke with the Rasa and the, uh, and the governor here. The Rasa basically wants us to go and deal with, uh, the, the raiders that are causing problems around here, which we'll deal with eventually. And first thing we'll need to do is head to Malachite Keep and clear it out. Also, it appears that, uh, the governor is just exceptionally lazy, using the excuse of, well, I don't want to provoke anyone. They literally asked for help. We'll be dealing with you later, my friend. Right now, let's head out of here and go investigate the, um... And go investigate our, uh... Our fort. Looks like we need to head around to the north here. Though there isn't really anything over here, so I can just... No, there is something over there. We'll deal with that. Ah, that's probably the way to get to the... No, no, it's not. It's... Ah, yeah, we'll investigate later. There's not really much else there. There is a large clan of the Lode Dog I camped around this oasis. Being this close to the main road, they are used to visitors. They invite you in for tea and attempt to sell you produce and small handmade trinkets. They're very polite, which is to be expected when being visited by royalty. As time passes, you realize that some of the affection might be genuine. They have heard good things about you. When you depart, they are almost sad. Alright, anyway. We'll investigate more areas later. Main thing I'm doing, heading over to our fort. Which has apparently specifically not been armed, specifically because he doesn't... Our governor doesn't want to provoke... You are close to Fort Precipice, one of Haven's forts in the Low Daga. As you get closer, you feel safer. Haven's forts are considered Haven land, and even the most crazed raider will think three times before trespassing there. Then again, the raiders of the Row were mad enough to attack you personally, and many of those raiders, if not all, came from the Low Daga. Caution is still wise. The fort no looks neglected, which is the usual state of affairs for Haven's forts in the Rokage. It will be interesting to hear the excuses the chief here comes up with. Oh, I've heard the excuses of the governor already. A patrol of Havenite soldiers salutes smartly as you pass. They march in tight formation, and their weapons and armor are quality and properly maintained. At least someone remembered that the low dog is very dangerous. Indeed. Well, let's go in and take a look around. You enter Fort Precipice, Haven's southern fort in the low daga. It is in the state of disrepair you have sadly come to expect. There are no smithies, no trading posts. The walls need repair. There are people here. A few guards practice in the parade ground. Dog and men have come from their clans to do business. Everyone is quiet and nervous. They look around constantly, awaiting a raid at any moment. Since the raiders who tried to kill you probably entered the gentle coast for this reason, their fear is understandable. It will take a lot of work to get this fort ready for the conflict that may be coming. This fort is now under your control. You have access to its resources, and you can rebuild its buildings and shops. Also, you can now recruit Lodaga warriors in the edit party window. We'll investigate all that later. First things first, we're going to investigate the entire fort. Then we'll speak to the chief, and then we'll make decisions after. Looks like that's the main building. Okay, that's outside. Oh. Oh, that's just the guard... Oh, okay, that's the guard tower. Fair enough. Which we could build something in here if we truly wished, but I don't wish to. I wish to build things in the stalls and other buildings. I'm not sure if I'm going to bother with stalls at this point. Considering it's the low Daga, which is where the raids came from, I may pass on the stalls a bit and may focus on building actual buildings. Uh, not, not yet. Alright, we go around. I'll make my decisions of what's going to go where later. Okay. That appears to be everything. Alright, let's go speak with the chief. And the chief is here. The Low Daga. The Low Daga is a rocky, hilly region in the eastern row. 
Little grows there. Their farmers and hunters struggle to provide a subsistence living. Thus, the Doggins focus far more on the principle of working than knowing or deep truth. They have no choice. For all known history, the Doggins have been vicious fighters. They have had to struggle to gain and defend every scrap of usable land. When invaders overextend themselves into the Rokaj and are destroyed, their blood is almost always spilled in the rocky hills of the Daga. They have also, by necessity, become the Ro's greatest stone workers. Architects and builders from Daga created all the stone buildings of the Rokaj. This effort has earned the Doggins what little wealth and security they have. Unfortunately for them, after the uprising a century ago, Haven declared that the Ro could no longer build defensive walls for their cities. This cost the Low Daga a great deal of wealth and prestige. I'd imagine so. All right, Chief Murph. This lone outpost out in the middle of a dangerous bandit-ridden wasteland has been put in the charge of one exhausted old bureaucrat. Years of wind and sand have worn all color and energy out of him. Yet the habits of Haven are hard to shake. He rises slowly from his chair and bows. The presence of a prince even makes him almost show an emotion. Welcome, Prince Rupert. I am Chief Murph of Fort Precipice. We are honored by your visit, and we hope you enjoy our hospitality. Beds are upstairs. May I give you my report? I will take your report. As you have seen, this fort is miserably neglected. We are under attack, but I lack the supplies to build the smithies and other facilities needed. We have failed you. Why don't you have supplies? Our answer to Governor Ato, who can be found in Azam. He distributes supplies to the forts and outposts of Haven. If you speak with him, I'm sure he can give you, share his great wisdom with you. Why has this fort been allowed to decay so much? Governor Ato has given a list of reasons why we can't provoke the Rokaj. For him, keeping proper Havenite forts is a provocation. I'm sure he would love a visit from you so that he can share his unique insights. Your problems are noted. Now we will get to f work fixing them. Chief Murph nods and then slumps back down into his chair. This fort has little. My authority and resources have slipped away. I do have knowledge, though. I will share with you all I can. Tell me more about you. I don't expect to be very interesting. I have given my life serving Haven. First as a soldier, then a council. Then ten years ago, I was elevated to chief. Your mother was at the ceremony. It was a great honor, the peak of my life. Then I asked to come to the Rokage. This violent land. This is your first post as chief. The second. My first post was in a prosperous, peaceful land. I barely had to act. Many would cherish such a post. I was foolish enough to want more challenge. Why did you choose to come here? I wanted to end my career with... <laughs> glory. I wanted to hold this fort against chaos. I have been punished for ambition. Have you done any fighting? No. I drill my soldiers as best I can, but we have not had one battle. Governor Ato has us stay here. The only order I get is to not provoke the low Dagans. Now, they provoke us. Chief Murph sits listlessly in his chair, slowly becoming one with the stone furniture. It would take a lightning bolt to get a bit of energy into this guy. Tell me about Fort Precipice. We have two forts in the low Daga, Haven's Land. I command here. I do all I can, which has been nothing, it appears. What is the history of the low Daga? The low Dargans are people with an expansive character. The High Lithans stay on the peak. The Crownus folk love their woods too much to leave. But the Dargans, with their sandy land and brutal past, the low Dargans are raiders. They attack and raid, and they nurture grudges for centuries. They are the eternal fire of the Row. Have you been attacked here? Oh no, the low Dargans are fierce, but they are wily. They won't attack this fort. They just flow around it to spread chaos. That doesn't mean they will never attack us. They will one day. It's just that when the attack comes, it will be fast and lethal. This fort needs to be rebuilt. Yes, your presence gives me hope that rebuilding can happen. I don't have the authority to give the necessary order, but you do. The main thing we lack is supplies. You should get some supplies. I am not allowed to have them because I would use them. That would be a provocation, so forbidden. Why didn't you tell Haven about your situation? 
There was a time when I made an effort, when I argued. I sent messages about this fort back to Haven. However, they went astray. What happens to the messages? All messages back to Haven have to pass through Governor Otto's office. Somehow, they were lost. Oh, great. So the one thing Otto will actually do it, and make any effort to is to prevent anything from happening here. The more I hear about him, the more I want to get rid of this guy. I want to know more about your governor. Governor Otto. He is my superior, so I don't want to criticize. It is bad form. He has made all of the strategic decisions here. I follow them. He is in his arm, if you want more details. How long has Otto been here? Four years. He became a he came a year after I did. His predecessor was also timid, but I was allowed to do basic maintenance. Do you speak with him often? Once we talked frequently, then we argued frequently, then we kept to ourselves. He has the power, I just do my job as best I can. How has Otto's performance been? You must judge it yourself. I imagine that judging Otto is the reason that you are here. I can say that I have complained constantly. My letters will be in his records. If he is to be replaced, that is your decision. What did he say about your complaints? He does not listen to me. He has not for years. He cares about peace. This means not provoking the row, which means not doing anything. Whether the low dog and see this as weakness, that is your decision. Could he be replaced? He can, if you say so. The problem is, who will replace him? I can't. I am too old, too worn down. Ambitious, skilled Havenites have not stayed under Otto's command. You would have to find someone better than him. Good luck. Yeah, that's the problem. Lazy as he is, who are we going to replace him? The only one that comes to mind that we'd probably be suggested to would be his council. But that would be a political disaster here because women are not seen as someone who would be in power. There's been a lot of unrest lately. Yes, to our eternal shame. We know that raiders tried to kill you. We never would have imagined such an outrage. It is like the Rokaj is begging for bloodshed. Where do you think the raiders were from? The raiders who attacked you came from the Lodaga, but that does not mean they originated there. They could have come from anywhere in the Rokaj, gathered in the Lodaga, and then descended into the gentle coast. Don't be too hasty to blame the hill folk. They are not fools. Have raiders attacked here yet? No. Fort Precipice has not been attacked in many years. When it is, the attack will come in the dark and it will be lethal. I'm in the mood to hunt some raiders. For a moment you see a flicker of a smile. I can see that, Prince. If you want to get a little justified revenge, talk to Rasa Lawata and Azam. I'm sure that he has a position. petition. That is all I need to know. I hope I have helped. If I have, it is the first time in years. The mirror starts to sparkle when you pass by. Someone far away strongly wishes to speak with you. Ah, yes, the mirror. When you approach the mirror, it fills with mist. The mist resolves into Sutter's misshapen head. It's really unsettling. Oh, scout, sir, you went to the low dogger. You're progressing. Good. That... Oh, that place is interesting. How so? Our father was the son of Arasa there. That is where mother met him. Then they married. He left the Lodaga a long time ago, but I'm sure they remember him, in a way. Maybe I will learn more about him. I doubt it. You'll see some statues. They'll fall over themselves to tell you how mighty and wise he was. But actually learn anything? No. Anyway, your purpose there. Tell me about my job. Find their Rasa, hear complaints, and make a modest effort to resolve them. Find our governor there and make sure he isn't a drooling idiot. Do you know what problems they are having? Hmm... Invaders, bandits, raiders, something like that. The hills of the low dog are a natural place for such pests. A little personal violent attention to calm things. It's an expense of running the Empire. Tell me about the Rasa. Rasa Lawata. Never met him. He will be proud and threatening, no doubt. He will complain that we don't let their stone workers build walled cities anymore. He will demand you allow them to make defenses against us. You won't. He is just another minor official in a backwards land. Tell me about their governor. Ah, uh, Governor Otto? The name is familiar. 
A fool, if memory serves. He will need to re be replaced someday, I suspect. However, this is not the right time. We have greater worries. Anything else I should know? Not really. The low daga is not terrible. They are skilled stone workers. They have sources of precious deep metal, and you might be able to obtain some. It's pretty, I recall. It's just not worth much of the time of a full Prince of Haven. What would Father want me to do? There is a long, tense silence. When Father speaks, his voice has an edge of anger. Father is dead. He has been dead for a long time. We still have our mother, the Queen. Do what she wants. Go. And his face fades away. Still, mirror. <coughs> when you approach the mirror, its surface fills with sparkling silver fog. You hear Delia's voice. Prince? Rupert? You're there, aren't you? You hear her slapping the mirror. Yes, you are there. You have been to the Lodaga. It is our father's homeland. It is in your br blood. What do you think of it? It's very moving. It's a beautiful land. You go on at length about the raw beauty of the Lodaga. The peaks, the wind, the sky. Delia makes a few noises in response. She isn't really paying attention. Yes, I wish I could see it, but... Governor Otto, our eyes and hands there. Have you met him? I met Governor Otto. Good, I'm sure you've seen him and you've evaluated the situation in the Lodaga. What is your opinion? He's a terrible governor. Everything's falling apart. I applaud your accurate evaluation, although seeing what is before your eyes can't have been much of a challenge. Raiders and beasts are overrunning the hills, and he has lost control of the situation. And what, in your questionable opinion, needs to be done? He needs to be replaced. Yes, he needs to be transferred quickly to a place where he can do no harm. Somewhere miserable. We need to make an example of him. However, we can't do it yet. Take note of this. You need to tell Miranda that he can stay. God tell me why! Because we don't have a good replacement for him yet. Governor positions are very valuable. They mean wealth and influence for the families who run them. We need to find a noble who can do the job and who can, we need to buy off. This takes time. So we say he stays for a short time. Remember that when Miranda asks for your judgment. Is there no Havenite here who can take his place? No. As I said, it is a very delicate sort of, situa of decision. It is my job to make it in a way that gets a maximum advantage to our family. Can one of the row replace him? No. They will offer, I am sure, but the Queen never allows citizens of our vassals to become governors. Outsiders are a valuable part of our empire, but we can never trust them with that much power. I am sure the row will offer governors a plenty. Ignore their honeyed words. Such a decision would greatly displease Mother. What should be done, then? Talk to Rasa Lawata. You will be asked, no doubt, to kill a bunch of raiders. Kill a bunch of raiders. Claim victory. Move on. I will take care of the diplomacy after. And now, I think, we have a few minutes to talk of lighter things. I wanted to tell you about... What? A report from where? Oh, no, those fools. I will... The mist fades. The mirror is quiet. More messages. When you approach the mirror, you hear Delia's voice. Normally, she is cheering and reassuring, even when she is mad at you. Today, she's unusually curt. Rupert? Yes, this is Delia. Mother wanted to check in on you every time you, t you reclaim a new fort. She's unavailable. I will do it. Let's make this quick. Mother is unavailable. Why? She is a queen. She has important jobs. She is entirely well. Let's conclude our business. Is something wrong? Everything is fine. Somehow I doubt that. Do you want to report about the fort? I imagine it has been neglected and you are restoring it. Well done. Another step on the way to finishing this job. <sighs> to be honest, this conversation is only at Mother's request. I'm already tired of the row. You don't care about them. No more than for any other vassal. Mother keeps saying, I have their blood, they are a part of me, and so on and so on. But it's not my home. I've barely been there. Maybe I should feel something, but I don't. How do you feel about it? They're strange people. I'd be willing to learn more. You know something? I can understand that. Maybe if I visited I would feel more. I just don't have time. Mother's list consumes my life. Or maybe nothing would change. Remember, you've only been there once, when all five of us visited the row before Father died. What do you remember about that trip? 
<laughs> you were but a baby, but I was old enough to make memories. I remember bloody beef, shouting warriors, some sport where they punch each other, beautiful mountains and cold swimming. I didn't like it. I'm still trying to decide how I feel about the place. Well, feel what you want. Mother decides everything, but she can't make you feel any way but how, I, but how you feel. I have your report. Three forts. My obligation to mother is done. We will speak soon. Her voice fades. And that appears to be all the messages there. Okay. Uh, we'll investigate upstairs soon. Let's look around out here. This is probably like the back area. Leads all the way to the warehouse. Okay. Minus. The main hall of this fort has multiple halls and warehouses for store supplies. At first glance, their stores seem entirely inadequate to the situation. Lots of bare floors and empty shelves. Yet the man in charge is a cheery soul. He's a short, healthy, excessively well-fed man, and he inventories his goods with relentless bureaucratic enthusiasm. He greets you with a deep bow. Oh, welcome, Prince. I am Minos. I look after the planks and the casts. So what do you do here? I am the quartermaster of Fort Precipice. I take the meager budget I am assigned, and I use it to buy from the downward row the supplies that we need. Well, a fraction of the supplies we need. What sort of things do you buy from them? Stone from the Lodagans, of course. They don't have much beyond stone, but they have a lot of it. Food from the coast, wood from the Kranus. I don't buy much from the High Litha, but if I need gravel and snow, I'll go there first. Where do you get your funds? They are assigned to us in Azam by Governor Atoll. The current belief is that we need very, very few funds for our operation. We make do. What do you think of the Lodaga? Hmm. Quite an interesting land. They work stone and make marvelous buildings. Slow, painstaking work. Then they amuse themselves by raiding the other clans. And the Row. And the Achaemen. And anyone they can find. Honestly, I like them when they come in. Dealing with them is peculiar, though. Peculiar how? I only ever meet their men. Their women are always kept at home. None of my business, of course, but it makes my view of them a bit lopsided. Minus walks you up and down the long halls of his storerooms, which should have far more supplies than they do. There's a card in one corner there to aid in the transport of goods that aren't there. Are you properly supplied? Oh, yes. I suppose I should have expected the question. I'm not sure what the governor would want me to say. He wants to be the one who deals with outsiders, like you. No offense. But I'm sure you will provide information to your prince. Of course, I don't want to be hung out in the sun. I'd miss meals. I won't pretend that we have enough supplies. Anyway, you've seen the state of our fort. We've ne been neglected for some time. Why won't the governor give you supplies? Governor Otto has a belief about the rocage. He thinks that as long as we never provoke them, there will never be another great uprising. He doesn't want them to feel threatened by us. Strong forts are threatening. I have no opinion on his strategy. So you have no supplies? Minus grins. Well, it is not as dire as that. I'm a good trader. I have bought far more with my pitiful allowance than anyone knows. Not everything we have is where our governor can see and take it. We need more, true. However, if there is a war, we'll be able to fight. I've made sure of it. Anything I can do for you? Minus takes a deep breath and maintains control. So much, but I need to be modest. It would do wonders if Haven regained control of its mines. The recent raids have caused some problems there. I can help with that. Then talk to Council Opal in Azam. She is in charge of Haven's quarries here. The governor likes to keep all power close so that it can't be used. Noted. Okay. More stairs over there. This is probably... No, it's... Okay. Oh, what's this book? The Rulers of Haven. All right, we've already read that book. Okay, and that's the way out. All right, let's take a look upstairs. May as well. These two crowded rooms contain a small apothecary and field hospital. The woman in charge has crammed all of the supplies and beds into here that she can. One stone table has been commandeered to be used for surgery. It hasn't been stained with blood yet. That time may be coming soon. 
The Rokaj, we've already read a book on that. And that's just a hallway. All right, let's speak with Sage Rietta. A young, energetic woman maneuvers through her tiny field hospital. She's preparing medicines and tending to the beds. She doesn't have any patients yet, but she is ready. When she looks at you for the first time, she's terrified. Odd. She soon regains her composure. Welcome, Prince. I am Sage Rietta, and this is my hospital. It is small and humble, but I will be ready if and when the battles spread. This is quite an apothecary. She smiles nervously. There is no need to flatter me. It is humble. If there is a war, I won't be able to satisfy the need. Uh, still, I am doing all I can. What else can a Haven Knight do? What ailments can you treat? The more common illnesses, infections. We have accrued surgery. The local clans, if they have an accident or difficult childbirth, come to me. If there is a full war, we will need so much more. How do you get your supplies? She takes a moment to decide how to answer. There are those here who make sure I get all I asked for. A need is anticipated. They are taking a risk. Why are they taking a risk? Governor Otto doesn't want to let the Lothdagans think we are preparing for war. A large field hospital is seen as preparation. He doesn't want me to do too much, but I still have some powerful contacts. Do you need any help? I always need help. I am a healer of Haven. I have served in the palace itself. I will always try to get, m try to build more, heal more. There are things I need I have been unable to get. However, I don't want to anger royalty. I have found how unwise that choice can be. I can help you to supply your little hospital. I am honored. I am willing to take advantage of your good nature. Sage Rietta soon runs out of hospital to show you. She doesn't want to make potions and lotions while you're here, so she makes tea and awkward small talk. What are you preparing for? I prepare to heal the soldiers here. I help the nearby clans when I can. However, I am in a fort of Haven, and there have been many, many more raids lately, to and from the Lodaga. So I prepare for war. Do you think there will be a war? I don't know. Someone tried to kill you. Every day more cow wolves are seen in the wilds. Plus, there are rumors. I don't know what will happen. It'll be up to you, I suppose. I'll prevent a war if I can. Peace is my main goal. I am glad. However, the Rokage has a way of provoking even the most patient. How did you come to be assigned so far out here? The look of fear you saw on her face when you first met her returns. Before I was here, I was in Sharon's palace. I helped in the treatment of your mother. You treated my mother? Very briefly. I gave some opinions that were... unpopular. Then I was sent away. Very far away. What did you say that was so bad? Saying what I said got me sent to this violent wasteland. I really don't want to be sent to a worse place. There are worse places. I am a prince. I... I can't get honest answers about my mother. I'm asking you to tell me the truth. I said that her situation was very bad and that we should not pretend otherwise. I also foolishly asked why her condition was being kept hidden from, well, everyone. I should have kept my mouth shut. What is wrong with her? Alas, the doctors of Haven tend to research wounds, not diseases. We know that some sort of wasting illness is slowly crawling through her. It will cause pain, so we give her treatment for that. It will weaken her. Then it will kill her, or it won't. You can't tell me more. I can't. Not honestly. I have not seen her for some time, and I'm sure the illness will have advanced. If you see her and can describe her current condition to me, I can tell you more. I can't ethically say anything else. All right, then. Can I help you to stock your apothecary? Well, there are certain. there is a certain exotic ingredient I need. Very hard to find, but I know you have a reputation for being a hunter. I need the egg of a fire lizard, fairly fresh, wrapped up warmly for transport. The yolk of one such egg can aid effectiveness to a wide variety of medicines. Where can I find such an egg? I've heard rumors. There's an infernal cavern to the northeast. The locals call it the fire pits. This could be a valuable source of resources for Haven, should you ever be there. If you can get one such egg there, in more peaceful times we can get more. Anything special I should know? Only that the eggs don't keep for very long. If the fire lizards are driven out, any eggs they leave behind will die quickly. They will need to be fresh. 
Noted. So grab it when I go there and no later. That's all for now, thanks. All right, and we have a couple of rooms here, a chest with nothing in it. And in here, a chest with nothing in it. All right. And with that, we've explored everything we have here. I'm going to have to end this episode here. Next episode, we're going to see what companion we'll get from the Lodaga, and we'll, uh, we'll rebuild what we can here and do what we can. This should be well. But that'll be in the next episode. So until then, I am Chester44, also known as Fly. That is Rupert, Elspeth, Terrence, and Patricia. This has been a Let's Play of Queen's Wish 2, The Tormentor. And I shall see you all next time.